And just look at China. They're the number one emitter in the world right now. And when you look at China, now they're starting to talk about a green economy. I would say pay attention to what they do, not what they say. Emissions from China are going to continue to grow every year all the way to the year 2050. That's already planned. That's going to continue to happen. So that's even if they promise to do everything that they're promising to do. The Chinese will not put their economy in the back seat to the environment. They are going to choose to get richer rather than to get greener. So the solution is not to limit America or to limit our energy or our economy. The solution is to put American ingenuity and know-how and research dollars into finding better solutions to lower our emissions and then, and then share all of this research and the advances in technology around the world to deal with it in a global state, in a global way. And that's why Jeff Bingaman, who's a Democrat from, uh, from New Mexico, chairman of the Energy Committee, and I have co-sponsored legislation. I introduced it two years ago, again, last, last year, and now we have now co-sponsored this. We're going to have hearings next week on ways to actually make some of these investments and make a difference in the lives of people all around the world. Well, I, I'm going to close with just a couple of, of thoughts. Um, you know from home, voters are disgusted and dissatisfied. Washington always says, and I've heard, I've heard this all the time in the Wyoming legislature. Washington always says, if you just give us a little more power, if you just give us a little more money, then we can help more people. Do not believe them. You know it. People at home make better decisions about their money than people in Washington. And... <laughs> And we have our director of the Wyoming Taxpayers Association here. You know what we need to do is one, never raise taxes. And anytime you get a chance to cut taxes, you should do it. That's the way to leave more people, more money in the pockets of the people of your state. Now, when Washington offers you matching money, be very careful. Some in the Wyoming legislature call it blackmail. Some call it bribery. Uh, if the money does not fit with your own vision and your own values, I would say, please reject it. Well, there you have it. Welcome to the nation's capital, the center of our democracy. And democracy is an interesting thing. You think about the Soviet Union for years ago. The Soviet Union had a long list of what people are forbidden to do. China's just the opposite. You're, you're not allowed to do anything in China unless it's on the list of things you can do. And then there's the United States with our Constitution and with the Bill of Rights. It is a list of what government cannot do to all of us. That's what it's about. And Ronald Reagan said it so well in his farewell address, and I want to read it to you. He said, ours was the first revela revolution in the history of mankind that truly reversed the course of government. And with three little words, we the people. We the people tell the government what to do. It doesn't tell us. We the people are the driver and the government is the car. And we decide where it should go and by what route and how fast. Almost all the world's constitutions and documents in which governments tell the people what their privileges are. Our constitution, he said, is a document in which we the people tell the government what it is allowed to do. Because we the people are free. So if you're going to talk to your members of Congress this week, I would ask you, tell them to vote no on health care. Tell them to vote no on cap and tax. And tell them to vote yes for freedom. Freedom for all Americans to pursue and to live the American dream. My, my dad fought in World War II. He was one of these guys, had to quit school in ninth grade because of the Depression. He was in the Battle of the Bulge. And from the time I was a little kid, he'd always say, John, you should thank God every day you live in America. And I do. I do thank God every day that I live in this great country. We are so fortunate, we are so blessed, and I'm gonna to continue to fight for our freedom every day that the wonderful people of Wyoming allow me to represent them in the United States Senate. Thanks so much for letting me be with you today. Thank you, thank you.